I want to talk about the three mistakes that I see you guys making all the time that are really stunting your ability to not just sing the way you want, but move forward powerfully in this journey. If you are doing it professionally into your career, if you're just trying to do it as a high level uh, in, in more of an avocational way, either way, these three mistakes are something that I think once we become present to, it changes not just how we show up to our voice, but how we show up to this journey. And um, so I really want you to know them, which is why we're talking about them today. you've been keeping up with this group and digesting the content in here, you know, you're probably detecting a theme, which is, you know, all the ways that you can use this time so that as things slowly start to come back to normal, you know, it seems to be a little bit two steps forward, one step back, but we are making progress. Um, so that as things come back to normal and we're all back out there auditioning and performing again, you can succeed like crazy. So, you know, a lot of things that I've been talking about are how to expand in this challenge, um, how not to be ruled by fear and uncertainty, how to find opportunities in this, and how to really, how to find gratitude in this. And it's all about, you know, doing what you need to do, taking necessary precautions that work for you in your life, and then continuing to live your life and work towards your goals, albeit you know, still in a different way than it than you might have done it otherwise, um, but so that the, the time doesn't have to be a waste. And I believe really strongly that the, that these challenges that we are going through, that we've been through, can be the biggest gift for you if you let it. And that's, that's the big point. They can be the biggest gift if you let it. The challenge is always an opportunity if you see it that way, if you let it awaken your creativity, your resourcefulness, your drive. And so, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, a continuation of coronavirus crisis, right? It can be the very thing that allows you to get to that next level in your singing, in your career, because you can finally focus on these things without a lot of the other distractions that, that you usually have. And so to that end, um, today we're going to discuss three big mistakes that I see singers making all the time. And most singers think, you know, well, if I just get my technique dialed in, if I can just get my breath support dialed in, if I can get that that breath beneath me and I can get these high notes down, you know, if I can just, you know, get all the rep that I need to do perfectly, you know, then I'll be golden, right? If I just have the right manager, then I will be golden. If I just have all the publicity, then I will be golden. <laughs> but in my experience, and by the way, do you see yourself in this? Because I see a lot of you in this. But based on my experience, those things, are usually just symptoms. If your technique is not dialed in, if your high nuts are not golden, if you don't have the kind of management that's, uh, management that's actually working for you, if you are not, if your recordings are not making an impact and you're not getting a lot of spins, right? These things you think that are problems, they're not the real problem. They're actually symptoms. They're the they're the twenty foot view, and what I'm going to talk about today is the three thousand foot view. And so without shifting these three things, I think that most of you are in for a hell of a time ever getting off the side job bandwagon, you know, uh, and doing those things that are going to make a big impact with your voice. And so these three things are really an outgrowth of one limiting belief. And here it is. You think of yourself as an artist, and that's it. That is it. I am an artist. I am a musician. I am a creative. <laughs> you are not. You are a business, okay? 
You guys have heard me say this before, but I'm going to say it again because it's so important and it bears repeating, okay? Repeat after me, in, okay? Say it out loud. <laughs> I am not just an artist. I am a business. And until you stop thinking of yourself as an artist and start thinking of yourself as a business, you will probably make one, if not all, of these three big mistakes that I see singers making all the time. So the first mistake is no strategy. So I see singers trying to build what the business world would call a Franken career, right? So you're learning everything you're going to need to know for, for a successful singing career, but it's like, it's like they're each a different piece of the puzzle from a different box. And so, you know, you, you've learned vocal technique from this expert over here and performance skills from this program that you did and audition techniques over here and songwriting and recording maybe from this thing and promotion and marketing strategies from watching these videos or taking this course. And, and now with social media, you've got all these tools for how to do that. And maybe you learned it from your friend who taught you or some other thing that you did. And so you've got all this knowledge and all these tools and you are baffled as to why it is not all working to bring you success so that you can have a thriving, sustainable music career. And it's because there is no unifying strategy. You do not have a strategy. And when you're busy being Dr. Frankenstein, you're, you're packing it all together, you know, like this from this from here, this from there, you know, it's like the Dr. Frankenstein, they take the arm from one dead guy and the head from another dead guy. I mean, it's such a grotesque image, but, but that's, that's, you know, there had there is no strategy. There's no thread, right? There's no way of thinking that links it all together. But you can't see that because when you're busy being Dr. Frankenstein, you're too close to it. You can't see where the holes are. And trust me, if there are holes, you're going to walk right into them. And I see it happening to talented singers all the time. But you don't just want to be a talented singer. You want to be a successful artist, a successful business. And so you need a strategy. You need a thread that's going to link everything that you already know and take you from where you are now to where you want to go without any holes, right? So you've got to start thinking of yourself as a business. And so what does someone who wants a successful business do? Number one, they have a strategy. That is number one. Number two is they invest in growth. So right now you've got to get out of that starving artist mindset that I know you guys all live in because I hear you bitch and moan about it all the time. I don't have enough money to, to hire the producer I want. I don't have enough money to, to do the training program that I want. I know I need these things. I know I need to get whatever it is, the, the, the headshots or the, you know, the, the training. You know, if, I, if, if I'm struggling with consistency, I know I need to get that training, right? So you're, you're bemoaning everything that's wrong and you're telling me I don't have enough money to do it, you know? And in those moments, and those of you who I've had this conversation with, in those moments, I say to you, okay, can I hardcore you right now? I don't care that you don't have any money in your bank account right now. All I care about is, are you committed to this future enough and this business that you want to grow and this life that you want to have that you are willing to get resourceful and go get it? But that feels impossible because you are coming from a starving artist mindset instead of a growth mindset. So what is the starving artist mindset? Let me explain. Starving artist mindset is rooted in lack. It's rooted in contraction. It's focused on everything I don't have, I can't do, I need that I have to get that I can't afford. It is focused on all the time that I don't have, you know, the day job that I hate, everything that isn't working, that is keeping me from actually investing in my dream in my beliefs, in my talent, in everything that I know that I want. I have a mind full of excuses and it's all based on lack. And that energy is a contracted energy, okay? And it prevents artists from being empowered and being uh, uh, stepping into 
their power to get resourceful, to get the things that they need to move forward, right? A business mindset, however, invests in growth. Starving artist mindset, lack contraction. Business mindset invests in growth. But when you're in the starving artist mindset, you're not thinking of things as investments. You're just thinking about what things cost because you are in fear because you are in lack of everything that you don't have and you don't know how you're going to get it. And so all you're thinking about is cost. But guys, there's a difference between cost and invest. Okay. Like it, with cost, there is, there's no return on the money spent. Okay. So for example, uh, a cup of coffee costs four dollars you drink that coffee you pee it out into the toilet that money is never coming back to you right you you spend four hundred dollars on those jimmy choo shoes maybe they're like eight hundred dollars now i don't know i don't buy them but you know you spend eight hundred dollars on, on a pair of jimmy choo shoes and you wear them you have fun whatever you know but that money is spent you you are not getting that money back okay so with cost there is no return on that money so when you're in the starving artist mindset, if you're thinking of what things cost, you're not thinking about what they can bring you in return. So you don't spend on things that could move the needle because everything seems like money out the door and you forget that there's something coming back to you, right? So when you're in starving artist mindset, everything costs and you're, that brings up fear and so then you don't invest in the things that could really move the needle versus invest is a growth mindset. Invest understands that what the money is being spent on is coming back to you tenfold. So if I in, you know, if, if I invest in, um, whatever, in, in training, you know, like, let's say I really want to have this huge career. And every time I go into an audition, I get into the callbacks. And so I know I have talent, but I just, I just can't get past that level. I'm getting into the callbacks, but I'm not getting hired. Right. And then all of a sudden somebody is presenting you with, um, let's say a training program or a teacher you could work with or whatever. Right. But you're in starving artist mindset. And so that training program or that teacher, or whatever that could take you to the next level, Let's say, you know, it's it it costs two thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, whatever it is that feels to you like oh, I can't afford that. That costs too much. But what is it costing you to stay stuck where you are? What is it costing you to go to those auditions and every single time get into the callbacks and then not get the role? What does that do? to your sense of self, your ability to then show up even more powerfully next time because you're now in your head because nothing is working out the way you want. What is it costing you to have to stay at that day job, that side job that you don't like, which is only paying you 15 or $20 an hour, which is why you're so terrified of, of you know, investing money in yourself in the first place because you're not going where you want to go and it's this vicious cycle, right? So now all of a sudden you have an opportunity but, oh, it costs, it costs because you're in starving artist mindset, because you're not in growth mindset, you're not in business mindset. And so you don't see that 2000, 5000, 10,000, whatever dollars as an investment, you see it as a cost. And so then you don't, because you're not, you don't take that opportunity, you don't get resourceful, you don't spend that money. And then you stay right where you are. That, that word cost Stop asking what things cost, okay? No more cost in the brain, it's invest. What am I investing so that I can have the future and the career that I want? Invest is a growth mindset. No successful business that I have ever heard of ever got off the ground or remain successful without investment. That's, that's just like business 101, right? And I get it, you guys, I get it. I was a starving artist once upon a time. You know, when I was like first out of school and stuff, but the problem was that mindset persisted and it kept me stalled for a long time and I'd opt for the discount and, and, and for like spend thrift solutions. I'd see how much I could trade or get for free. And you want to know what you guys, when I'm trading and I'm getting stuff for free, I always got what I paid for always, which wasn't much because I wasn't investing much. 
So I had, you know, very little skin in the game and I got minimal results each time. And it wasn't, you know, until I kind of had a huge shift, which is a whole nother conversation for a whole nother time. But until I got into that growth mindset and started investing in, 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 teachers and intensives and masterminds and, you know, other things, uh, mentors who could see the holes that I was going to fall into and who had, you know, a comprehensive strategy who gave me that thread to link all the knowledge. Only then did I really start to see success. And so that's why I, I even at this stage of my game, I, I continue to invest in mentoring. Every time I've done it, it has been a huge decision. But those investments have paid for themselves by coming back to me tenfold with what I've created from that guidance. So, so I want to recap for a second. The first two mistakes are number one, not having a strategy to get from where you are to where you want to go. Second thing is being stuck in starving artist mentality, not investing in the business that is you. And the third mistake is substituting informational support for transformational support. So you can have the best strategy in the world, but if you don't know how to implement it and apply it correctly, then you're, you're lost. So even if you have a great strategy, somebody has to be there to support you and guide you walking through actually implementing all of the shifts and the changes that you're making, whether it's in your technique, in your career, in, in marketing and recording, making your record auditions, whatever it is. And so that to me is the biggest difference between when I talk to most of you, between all of the programs and the learning that you've done before, 99% of them were informational. You got all the information. You have been filled to the brim. Most of you have so much information. You have been studying for years with teachers and some of them are really amazing teachers. You have done you know, you, some of you have degrees in, in vocal performance, musical theater, classical opera, degrees from Berklee School of Music and in songwriting and stuff like that. Like you have so much information. You've done programs. You've done workshops. Like you've got information coming out your eyeballs. And yet you're still stuck at the level you're at. And you're still frustrated and struggling to understand why this career is not thriving at the next level, why your voice and your performances and your, your recordings are not making big mainstream impact. And you're frustrated and you're struggling to understand what more you could possibly be doing to break through in a bigger way. Because guess what? All that information you have is useless without the transformation required. So what I'm talking about is support that is transformational, that walks you through from start to finish, that helps you see the holes, see the blocks, close the gaps, walk around, deal with the blocks, right? If you get stuck, help you through. If you don't understand, they illuminate for you what's going on. So making sure that whatever training you guys decide to invest in at this point, it has got to be transformational. So, so to kind of wrap up these ideas, start thinking of yourself as a business so that you can avoid these three pitfalls. Let other singers make them. Let them be the ones releasing records that nobody listens to and that aren't making any money. Let them keep plugging away as, you know, the third understudy for a minor role in a non-equity regional show. Let them keep doing unpaid ensemble work with B and C level opera houses, telling themselves, oh, they're just, you know, they're just paying their dues. And they've been paying their dues for seven years. Let them be the ones doing that. You be the one changing your thinking so that you can change your singing, the impact you make, and the trajectory of your career. You be the one getting the gigs and the recognition that you know you deserve, performing in the prestigious venues, working with the most elite collaborators, releasing songs to a huge stable of loyal fans, and doing it regularly. You be the one with the business mindset, getting a strategy, 
investing in yourself, investing in getting that transformational support from the best mentors that you can find. And more than anything, being decisive about it, recognizing that now is the time to lean in. You know, this moment that we're in, it's the perfect time to lean into the future of your craft and your career so that you are really positioned to soar when things are all over. So don't sit on your hands any longer. Like, what else are you gonna do? What else do you have to do, right? Like you're, you know, there's, there's still so much time and so much resources you can tap into when you understand that this is a process of growth and investment. Now you can succumb to the uncertainty and the fear, or you can choose a different emotional home that you can live in, which is filled with opportunity and possibility. My wish for you is that I'm able to inspire you and motivate you to take action now, during this time, this moment, so that you can make the three shifts that we talked about today. You can come out the other side of this a better singer, a better performer than you were before, and you can hit the ground running as everything is opening up with an entirely new level in your singing and your performance. Some of you might have all these ideas and action plans that you're that, that are, you know, totally, this talk has inspired these new ideas and that's amazing. And others of you might feel overwhelmed or intimidated or feel like you just really need or want some help making the most out of, you know, the rest of this time that we have here. So if you've resonated with this stuff and you are making these three big mistakes and you see it and you know it and you want a strategy and you think that I might be that mentor for you, please book a call for me if this feels aligned. We can discuss it and we can see if it's a good fit, okay? And on the call, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chat for about 45 minutes. If you're resonating and you say, oh yeah, I am making all these big mistakes and, and I want guidance, and if you think I might be that mentor for you, then, then book a call with me and we'll see if it's a fit. And it's a free call. And what we do is we chat for like 45 minutes and I'm gonna lay out the strategy for you that's gonna help you bridge this gap between the information that you have and the transformation that you need so that you can sing powerfully and freely and effortlessly, be able to rely on the longevity of your voice, not be worried about vocal injury, understand who you are as an artist, what your unique sound is, understand how you can constantly, consistently, reliably nail those performances, connecting to the audience deeply, make an impact, and with that, then open the doors to the kind of career that you wanted when you started all of this in the first place. And I wanna be really upfront for who this is for. If you have not had at least a year of one-on-one -on -one technical training, this call is not for you yet. Okay, go get that first. This is not a learn to sing program. If you haven't had one-on-one -on -one technical training yet and you're feeling insecure, stuff is not landing, the, the performances are not making an impact, I guarantee you there are a base level of tools that you just don't have that you are operating from without that could solve a lot of that inconsistency, confidence stuff that you're experiencing. So if you haven't had one-on-one -on -one technical training yet, go get that first. This is a great time to get moving on that. You know, because of this pandemic, all the best teachers in the world were all online. So there's, it's not an excuse anymore that, oh, I don't live in, you know, there aren't any good teachers in my area, right? We are all online, so go find somebody that works for you. If you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't have enough money to do that. Oh, well, if you really want this future, if you really want to make a life out of your gifts, then get out of that cost mindset and get into the investment mindset, get into the growth mindset, get resourceful. If you need that training, what do you need to do to get there, right? It's not about what you have right now. It's about how resourceful you can get to get what you need to get what you want. So if you haven't had that training yet, go get it first. If you have had a good deal of training, and you are not seeing the results of that. And in the form of the thriving career that you really want, if you're not at that level where you really can walk in and feel confident and know that that performance is making an impact every single time, if your auditions have not been landing and you're not getting the gigs you want, if your recordings are kind of languishing without the mainstream attention that you want, if in your quiet moments you're sitting there and you're starting to second guess your talent, like, Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just not as good as, as I thought I was. 
Like if you lay in bed at night, staring at the ceiling, wondering what more I could be doing to break through. If you have talent and you have training and you feel like your career should be at a totally different level by now, that's who this call is for. Don't waste any more time. Use the link, the whatsapp.com schedule, Arden schedule call and schedule a call. And I really hope that you guys take to heart these three things and start to shift them in your own way, whatever works for you in your singing, in your career, in your life. And if you want the help and the support to do that, book a call. I'm here for you. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into today's episode. If you want to subscribe, click the link right over there that says subscribe. And if you want to book a breakthrough session with me, which you absolutely should do, then click the link right over here that says book a call to schedule an appointment to speak with us. I'll see you on the next episode.